Thank you, Kimmy. That 94 looks good. You might not think about going out to eat to get a TV dinner, but right. it's one of the most popular items, apparently, at Gingy Ginger Monkey Tavern. And uh, National TV Dinner Day, it's next Tuesday, so executive chef uh, Matt Meyer is here to show us some of the stuff that they put in their TV dinner. So you actually Absolutely. serve these. Uh, these are things that you might want to try at home. So uh, is it true that the traditional meatloaf dinner is the most popular thing you serve there for TV dinners? Correct. Yep. During the dinner service, excuse me, uh, we do go through a lot of the meatloaf TV dinners. Um, however, during football season, we do the uh, breakfast TV dinner, which is a popular hit. You could get Sunday three mornings eggs. Correct. right there. Yep. You can get three eggs cooked your way, and then it comes with a side of potatoes, uh, sausage, bacon, and then some fruit, and then a mint to kind of Freshen everything <laughs> yeah, up again. Yeah, you need some fresh breath after for that. So this is the meatloaf dinner. You guys started serving this three years ago when you guys first opened. Correct. Were you surprised that it really caught on? Actually, I was. Being that it, it was a very uh, big staple in my family growing up, um, you know, the whole TGIF Friday night thing. We, we sat in front of the TV, my siblings and I, and we just went to town on TV dinners. Old school. A Very lot of us. So, I don't yes. think that Kylie would fit into this group, but <laughs> a lot of us remember the TV dinners. I mean, they, you know, became popular white in the 50s and 60s, but even right. 70s, 80s, you know, we had the, the, the big chunky man ones or whatever, the hungry man ones. Hungry man, yeah. But um, what's your secret to your um, meatloaf, I have to ask? So we, we use a lot of binding agents. So we have obviously eggs, we do breadcrumbs, um, heavy cream, all that fun stuff. So we, we kind of keep it together. You got all the classics, the gravy, the mashed potatoes, even the apple crisp. Ooh, Correct, yeah. so a little something sweet. So Absolutely. you have a really kind of fancy gourmet version that you are launching on Tuesday. This Correct. is with salmon. We're going to make that right now. So what yes. do we need to do? So right now we're just going to finish off the uh, shishito peppers. And then once these are done, we'll go ahead and uh, pull Those the salmon like out. Those are like candy. These, these are awesome. <laughs> these are one of my favorite peppers. And uh, quite honestly, you know, I could, I could eat them on just about anything. So we uh, go ahead and saute them. And then we're going to finish them with a ginger glaze that we do in-house. And then I'm going to do some uh, crushed wontons Ooh. on top. This is definitely texture. a 2019 TV dinner. Yeah, most <laughs> yeah, definitely. Yeah, they're modern day. And then sesame seeds as well. So that's, that's the shishito peppers. And then if you don't mind, I'm going to squeeze right in front. And we're going to go ahead and knock out the salmon. With the magic of TV. Yes, the magic of TV. So Boom, you're we're baking done. the salmon? Yeah, we're baking the salmon. And it's a miso glazed salmon. Uh, the Oops, there we go. That's that broke. OK. It happens. But food's Perfect. so good, it falls apart. Oh, boy. <laughs> so uh, tell me about the glaze that's in this one. So the glaze is a mixture of uh, miso paste, fig jam, soy sauce, brown sugar, and uh, some water to kind of mellow everything out and bring it all together. So once we have the um, salmon out, we're going to go ahead and uh, glaze it with the fig jam. Mm. This fig jam is awesome. We do a um, infused fig jam in-house with uh, screwball peanut butter whiskey. And, uh, that it, sounds amazing. I want to put that good. in a sandwich. Goes on, <laughs> it actually goes on a couple of our uh, popular sandwiches, the Signature and the Allison. And uh, to top it off, we're going to go ahead and add some sesame seeds for the, for the, the texture so and you the, have uh, bringing a, it together. Buy one and get one half off We then, do. We week. have a buy one, get one half off. So uh, to go ahead and kick off National TV Dinner Day, we want to you know support all, all that we do here at Ginger Monkey. and. Uh, really make everybody feel nostalgic and feel like they're uh, a child again. Back yeah. in the 50s and so 60s. Back in the 50s going and 60s. Old school. Yep. We're going <laughs> to take a quick break. We'll talk more about your restaurant and where you're sure. located right Absolutely. after this. Perfect. Welcome back. It is 9.59 and we're talking about TV dinners. Uh, the folks from Ginger Monkey Tavern are here in Chandler and you guys have these available. It's National TV Dinner Day on Correct. Tuesday. And you've got something fun for the kids no matter what time of year it is. Correct. That's right. All of our kid menu items are served on TV dinner trays. So they get a uh, fruit, they get gummy bears, their entree, whether it's chicken tenders, a burger, whatever it may be. And uh, it all goes out on little, little cool colored I think that's trays. so perfect because they don't like their food generally as children to touch <laughs> right. each other. Absolutely. I know some adults that don't like their food <laughs> yes. touching each other. Exactly. Yeah. It's more oh, yeah. fun when it's in little compartments. And you guys are at right. Akatiu and Arizona Avenue. Arizona Avenue. Yep. Heather, it was a blast. Thanks for joining us. Thank you for having me. Thanks, Matt, for being here. Thank you.